tactical Adam here. So uh, my neighbor is cleaning out his uh, garage and stuff, and uh, he gave me a old pellet gun. I know it's not a real gun, but still, I like you know I like guns. Pellet guns, what have you? Of course, real guns are more cool. Pellet guns are cool too. This thing's old. So we're gonna bring it back to life and we're gonna customize it and make it look real freaking cool. I need some love, ladies and gentlemen, I need some love, let's see. Good grief. Okay, it needs a little prime. No, nothing's in it. We're gonna give it a dry fire. A lot of dust came out. There actually might've been something in that. Yeah, we're gonna show this thing some love. Get it back to looking spiffy. Not that's real wood or plastic, I can't tell. I got this, I'm cleaning out my garage too. Got this punching bag here. Let me get you situated. <laughs> Cleaning out my garage and going through some stuff. Don't mind the mess here. Summer's finally here and I can get out and do some stuff. Let's shoot the punching bag. Maybe there's something else in it. Nope, I don't think so. She's rusty though. We're gonna bring it back. All right. Put our pieces in the solo cup. I think that needs to be tightened. Sorry, she's loose as caboose. Boy, it's definitely old. This one just broke the shit on me. That's not good. You don't want to fully disassemble the gun.
do here is I'm going to put these screws back in and where they go. Keep things around. piece of scotch break. I'm going to try to damn this to bring this thing back to life. So I can see in the analytics that uh, a lot of my viewers, they're, you guys are older gentlemen, some women on there. You see all the comments and all the veterans out there. Thank you for your service. I really appreciate what you do. And as long as my family, they appreciate what you do too. And we can't thank you enough. So from the bottom of my heart and my family's heart, thank you for your service and for protecting our freedom. Back to the gun so there's a camo there was a camo mastery in a video game called call of duty i know you guys are an older crew that view my channel i can see in the analytics and stuff that i have older viewers so you might not know what call of duty is you might your grandkids might play it your kids might play it but it's a you know it's a gun game you're military and you go out and you you know fight and I play it. It's a fun game. I play it with my son. My wife actually plays it too. Um, but there was a mastery camo back a while. It was called Damascus. And I have wrap left over from a recent project I did. Left over. This is the Damascus wrap I have. So tell me in the comments. Should we wrap the gun in Damascus or should we keep it? Do something different. I have this Damascus wrap left. I have a lot of it left. I don't know what to do with it. Hey, I'm not going to let it go to waste. I'll do something with it in the near future. But would it look cool? I don't know. What do you guys think? We're going to sand this down the best we can. Get this rust off. I might get some uh, rust removing stuff and polish this back down. I'm going to paint this. I don't know if it's going to go back to black or what. It's going to come with along with the theme of what color we do this. I might keep it, but, I, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I like to stand out. I like to do different things than others. If you go to the AML Designs channel, you will figure that out real quick. So, obviously, I don't have nothing right now to finish this project. I just got it like an hour ago from my neighbor. So, this is going to get broken down into parts of me bringing this old pellet gun, BB gun, back to life. I wish there was a date on here somewhere where I could see what we're working with here. And I do think this is real wood. Yes, it is. It is real wood. It is real wood. I don't know if you can see that good. We got real wood. 
Should we tack to cool it out? Yes, I said tack to cool. Or should we leave it OG, original? I'm thinking we should tack to cool it out kind of, but I don't know. I don't know. So we're gonna do something cool with it. And bring it back to life. And let it serve its purpose onward and you know respect it for what it is it's a weapon it's not a real gun but you know it's a pellet it's a bb gun so always remember to be safe with weapons youtube i know you don't like guns but channels like mine out there let's learn to be more gun friendly on youtube there's a lot of creators out there who talk a lot of knowledge with guns and they're not getting the respect they deserve, I feel, on you, on this platform. I mean, with all the shootings and stuff going on, that's that's a mental disorder. There's something way around there, and something that's being controlled by the individual is at fault. Which, if I have an AR-15, this weapon of war, um, it's, it's took out metal targets, and that's it. It's... I have no thoughts or any want to hurt anybody with that gun. It is uh, for fun. It is a tool. Where I live, it can't be used for hunting. I'd have to go farther up and get a smaller magazine capacity. It's a sportsman's gun is what it is. I like to shoot. I feel it's a good stress reliever. I have fun with it. I go shooting with my neighbors. I go shooting with my dad. And everybody I know owns guns, and we've committed zero crimes with them. And all the guns are purchased legally through gun stores, such as Cabela's, and there's a few local gun shops around me. So we need to... Well, we're not going to get into that here. This isn't for politics. Anyway, this is the end of part one, bringing back an old BB gun to life. So let's let's have some fun with this and see what we can do. I'm Tactical Adam. We're gonna catch you in the next bid. Thanks for watching. And thank you veterans out there. I really do appreciate you. Much love. Catch you in the next one. God bless America.